Hello everyone this is Rupesh and you're watching CBB Nuts video series on STL series and this topic is our set and this is a container and this is the syntax for this actually this is not the actual syntax for this but you can consider that it is a syntax and this T stands for type so whatever type you want you can give so for example see set of integers okay so I'm passing integers here so you might be wondering what is set actually this set is similar to the set what you studied in your childhood if there is a set and let's suppose you have few elements like 1 2 1 5 9 5 and these elements you want to insert into the set then you will insert 1 2 but this one already exists so you won't insert this so you will see 5 okay you will insert 5 then 9 okay then 5 but 5 is already there so you won't insert that into the set so this is a set now let's suppose this is s1 so similar thing happens in programming also in programming also your set whatever you create here using this set container does not allow duplicates so you can see that from here to here i have 1 to 5 after that i am again repeating 1 to 5 okay and if you will print this using this for loop all the elements in set you will get 1 2 3 4 5 only you won't get 1 2 3 4 5 and 1 2 3 4 5 and that example i will show you but before that let's go through this comments and we'll understand this container little better so the first point is set is an associative container so you know that set is a container but this is associative container so there are four associative containers in our c++ containers set multi set and then map and then multi map so these containers are called associative containers and what is associative container it is a different topic i should not go into that but for your understanding i'll say that in vector you remember you have something like this and you just insert values like 0 1 2 without associating these values to something else okay these values are just going inside the data structure and you are not associating this part to something else this part to something else and all that there is no association here but in case of these containers whenever you put some element inside them you create the association also okay i would like to say this much only and i'll undo this and we'll go back to this set container so it is a associative container that contains sorted set of unique objects yeah i just completely forgot about this sorted part here this will keep your data into sorted order and how it is sorting and all that we'll see that when we are seeing the example and the second part is it is usually implemented using red black tree and i know so many people might be thinking okay what is this red black tree it will come in data structure and algorithms video when these c plus plus thing will get over i will start on data structure and algorithm and we'll understand this better but for now you just remember that it is usually implemented using red black tree why usually means actually standard is not saying that what data structure they are using underline this set but people think that it is actually a red black tree okay so you should think that okay it is using red black tree just keep this in your mind and the insertion removal and search have a logarithmic complexity obviously when there is a tree you will have a logarithmic insertion removal and search complexities correct so Fourth point is if we want to store user defined data types like classes, structures and all that in set then we will have to provide compare function so that set can store them in sorted order. Okay, so I'll come to this point when I am showing the or running this program that time I will create a class and I will create an object of that class and we'll see how to store objects because here this is the example of storing numbers okay and then we'll talk about this compare function it's not nothing just but the comparator function okay if you know already that it is good but if you don't know we'll see that so the fifth point is and this is the last point we can pass the order of sorting while constructing the set object so 
As I said, it will store the data into the sorted order, but in what order? So default, see, I have not given any order here. When I'm constructing this set, I'm saying that create a set with this type. And I'm not saying that store these data into ascending order or descending order. So remember this default, it is ascending order. Okay, but actually you can give the descending order also. So instead of this, you should just simply write it like set and then integer and comma. And here you will pass std colon colon greater. So if you're passing greater after this integer, it will store this data into descending order. Okay. And if you are passing std dot dot less, this is small s less then it will store in ascending order. Okay. And by default, it is less only. And last but not the least, it store unique elements and they are sorted in sorted order, sorry, stored in sorted order. <laughs> I got confused here and you can sort in ascending or descending. Okay. So let's quickly run this program and complete this video. And then I will show you how to store your user defined data types inside your set. So before that, I would like to actually run this one and show you that it is working. So let's quickly compile this. It got compiled. And if I'll run this, see, it is giving you the output of one, two, three, four, five. Can you see this? It is not giving one, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. And let me just change the order here. If I'll keep five here and let's suppose three here, then also the output would be this only because it is going to store in sorted order compile executed see your again output is one two three four five so you can see that it is storing in sorted order and it is storing unique elements see there is no copy so you know obviously right program don't know anything it has to do everything by itself so it will actually compare that okay it has created this sorry inserted this one so there was no one inside this set already so it successfully inserted two got successfully inserted five got successfully inserted four three till this place it got successfully inserted but after this one is going to be inserted and it will check okay one already exists then it won't insert this one okay so that comparison is very easy because it is integer data type or integral data type you can use character flow double they all can be just compared with less than or equal to or greater than sign but when it comes to the user defined data types like this let me just create a class here i'll quickly create it so when you have something like this in your program and you want to create an object of this and store so many object of this type into this set so for now let me just simply remove this and create a set of what person okay and we'll call it set equal to and we are going to insert object inside that then i will take the help of initializer list 25 and name would be call it rupesh you can have another object like 30 let's make it hitesh actually it is reversed so let me make this 25 here and then here it should be 30 so that we can see it is actually storing in sorted order whenever we'll print this hitesh will get printed first then rupesh but but when we are inserting, we are seeing that this rupees is going first inside this set and then Hitesh is going. Okay. And I can take some English name. Let's make this 22 comma John. I don't know. This is correct, right? Spelling is correct, right? Okay. And there is one error here because this E is not a simple integral data type. Now it is a user defined data type so i would like to print e dot age see it is giving me the type also right e dot name and i want to give some little space in between okay it seems we are good but we are not good i'll, I'll, I'll explain why we are not good i'll just compile this 
and it will complain for some reason it is saying that i cannot compare it that operator less than is an issue here so it is saying that dude you are trying to insert three objects one two and three inside set and these objects are of type person and i don't know how to compare to person really i'm a computer i really don't know what is this 30 rupees 25 Hitesh 22 June. So please provide me the comparator so that I can actually use that and come to know which is smaller and which is greater. So for that, there are actually so many ways to do that. And this is one of the way you will say Boolean operator less than and we have to make it constant. And this is traditional constant person ref RHS and here you will just simply return age less than rhs dot age that's it you are done and now let's compile and see whether it is working or not oh wow see it got compiled now if i will execute it see john is actually coming first then 25 with hitesh and then 30 rupees actually these objects are stored with the help of age okay and that is a very good parameter to sort them right and i have used age here you can use anything with this comparator function and this is a comparator function and by default this is being called now you might be thinking what if i want to store descending order a small trick would be which is not a great or good trick just do this instead of less than you just do a greater than and just save it recompile it and you will see the magic see 30 is coming 25 and then 22 but if this is not good practice i'm telling you you should create different function for this and you should say that what function you want to use or what comparator you want to use when you sort it okay so let's make this one less and we can actually go for another function bool operator greater than and similar code so i should just simply copy this and paste here i should be a little smart right okay so instead of less than we will keep greater than and this is greater than but this function has no effect because default is this i told you right so here you can just simply say comma and std greater and remember this that this greater is coming from this functional header okay so let's compile this oh, oh wait a minute this will not compile because this is a template oh, oh what am i doing here okay now so this is correct so this is the syntax you have to use these brackets and this is automatic type detection but you can give explicit type also that you want to apply greater on this type but if you're not giving this person then also it is okay so let's compile this okay it compiled and if i will execute this see wow it is still storing into descending order see now this time it is calling this one okay and if i will make this less let's make this less and save it and again compile it and execute it see it is in ascending order so this was descending and this is ascending so this is how you use it okay so hit the like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this and i hope i will see you in the next videos bye bye take care